Okay, thank you very much uh, for joining this session. My name is Philip Marsky. Uh, I was exposed to the human defense game changer app. And we are very fortunate to have Ali Alevando, who is one of the founding uh, kind of a director for the game changer app to clone the app and uh, develop the various use cases. So any technical use case, any information you want to see, uh, Get uh, Holly's willingly <laughs> talk to uh, Since right now, uh, I think we're here for uh, those of uh, whom uh, I'm uh, helping, help cover the report. Okay. okay, so I, don't, I, I was never writing that. Right? And uh, uh, I was talking to the conference uh, organizer, and he reached out to me because I did a couple of years of education. I just said, Did you want to come? And I want you to come as Tell you a story. So it was like 40, 40 years ago when we were in touch with fellowships and what, what was happening. So I have been in the state government for 15 years here. And I'll start uh, briefly with my life story and why it's important for me and why I'm coming and getting trained and technical knowledge. But my story uh, starts with a very humble background. Uh, if you see uh, this lamp, that's a terrestrial lamp. Uh, that's how I started to do 10th grade. Uh, I never seen a computer in my life till I went to Bombay. Uh, my sister and me used to study. My father and mother both are. Uh, I never went to school, but my father is a very like person who wanted us to get more education, right? So we studied there, I came to Bombay for college, and every time I saw the lights, I used to fall asleep. Because we didn't even experience that, right? So the technology for certain people understands a different way, and certain people who are like us is understand a different way. So uh, when I came to Bombay, if you see the, that's the small hut, that was my house. I, I lived there almost 1995 to 2001 when I got my parents' license. And every time it rained, you are literally sitting like this and the water flowed uh, under it. And uh, many times, the government destroyed it and you know, built it. Uh, but there was no other option because we didn't have a place to stay and go to school. So I completed, completed my law degree. Uh, in 2001, I got a time to practice. Uh, being a humble background, I was trying to connect the people here first, people who came from background like me. So I became a human rights uh, uh, attorney mostly. So I did practice for about 10 years, uh, human rights cases. Uh, <clears throat> I never stopped learning because my father only uh, believed that the only distinguished between people who have and people who don't have, like me, is my training and my education. So I, I have worked with my BBA uh, There are two other doctors I'm pursuing differently. But my doc one doctor is an AI for the government. And I'm finishing my master's in artificial intelligence with uh, John Hopkins. From social worker, actually, social worker, and AI. So in 2009, I started working with the Department of Health here. Um, <coughs> before that, when I, I was in the journey, I, I saw there was no, um, no technology in the field in, uh, in, in India. I was in high court. Uh, most of the cases used to come and uh, just ran somewhere because of lack of evidence. So there was no system in like, 2001 in India. One of the cases actually what happened was a case about an um, untouchable girl, 16 year old, red murder, gang <coughs> No request for five months, he came to me, he came to High Court. High Court dismissed the case um, because there was no FIR first information report. There was no way to get justice to this family. Everyone in the family was killed, four people died. Uh, you can Google this, it's called the Just Another Rape Story. It's still on, 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 uh, on social media in uh, 2006. I took that case, I went to uh, United Nations in uh, Geneva. I did, I did three days of first right to a lot of have a place to stay. And from there, there was a human rights council meeting going on. They got Prime Minister of India uh, to have a report on representation. 
this story we show that is some kind of sort of weird places that you can talk to me on that. We are very, very cool in the public. Uh, See, my concern is always about how a person like me, who wants to bring a change, right? The Dhamma of the Slump turn the leader back to my house, I I didn't have anything here when I came to this country, right? Uh, in 2010, uh, we built the national movement for the entrepreneurship in India, Times of India, Times Magazine, actually. 2008, we were on the Times protest of Tor. This was all in terms of the, 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 the information technology. Uh, to tell, I did the field in Indian Institute of Technology, uh, the tutor's partner, Agarwal, he was my, in my same room and same class. So, same education, if you take certain things to change the world, has a different possible, different, uh, different outcomes. So, when we did uh, uh, AI for Good Action Organization in 2013, with a small group of people who tried to do, uh, there was various national uh, strategies, national platforms, a lot of work done, but this one I like it more. I don't want to name the country because not many of those promises are made or fulfilled. As, as a public employee, I always see AI not just one part of it. So when I was working with the Timurki, uh, Alan Hamilton was one of the key partners, and they built this platform. But the platform, people like us who are supposed to adopt it, they will not do it. They are not, they are not really taking uh, the life, right? So they always miss that part, that connection of finding purpose using AI for a larger perspective. So all these 42 atoms can build can start an AI revolution in any organization, in any, any your own life, in any, any uh, country. It is valuable for small organization, big organization, countries, all of you. What's happening, and it's directly affected your GDP, it's directly affected your uh, uh, economics. Uh, they are in 2030, they are predicting that in North America, almost 14.5% of GDP. Basically, this is based on what is invested in the country right now on AI and what will be the impact to the 3.7 trillion dollar market. Uh, Latin America 5.4 five, five, and as you go along, you see China is a 26 percent GDP. And you know all these facts. That's not what I'm trying to present here. The revolutions, I came from social work background as a social worker. As activists, and different activists. We never made around successes. We never see how much, uh, if I took a revolution, I went on the street and I would build a hunger strike, how much it is going to change, how much. I, I never put the monetary value for that, right? But when it comes to the, any uh, innovations, any technology, a lot of times, most of the uh, PowerPoint slides, they will always talk about how it's affecting your business processes, the consequence of it, your GDP. It's like, 10 times, 100 times, 10x model, you know, um, 6 sigma, this sigma. That's not how it should be. It doesn't matter if half of the world, or more than half of the world, is still in the kerosene lamp, who have potential coming here from that small slum and add it to you. In 2018, I, was, I actually had this in uh, General Assembly in front of 180. Current discretion and prime discretion. It doesn't matter. But if you have to, you don't have the resources, half of the country is under uh, distinct, uh, uh, they have use the AI tool or any, uh, 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 any tools to do that. So, normally in the business cases, very sophisticated uh, uh, PowerPoints looks good. Software layer, infrastructure layer, stakeholders layer, governance layer. When I started as a uh, social worker in a psychiatric hospital, 500 beds hospital, every month we had 30 to 40 cases where it is life and death situation. And then they, they, they are dying because of uh, what was the uh, drug in, uh, interactions. Uh, one person was uh, sleeping in the room, uh, there was a uh, cleaning powder, so the patient here, right? These are the stories 
they you know turn up on the system from the right? And the AI tools, for, especially for the government side, I'm, I'm very passionate about it, something that's good, I triple because uh, when we have these meetings, right, I try to arrange meetings with the people who really have voices. If you see a person like me who is sitting in the meeting, normally they will not say, they will, they will not be able to That has to change. That you never know who is going to bring knowledge and value for your product. And as a leader, you know, business leader, you have like, you know, AI is a very good field where you can generate a lot of human value apart from monetary value. You need to listen to everyone who has some kind of story, some kind of passion to uh, bring that change. And when uh, Agnarwal, the uh, Twitter CEO, he took over, he needed a recommendation from non profit groups. <laughs> he sent me a LinkedIn message. I know we work in the slums. Can you uh, create the, uh, some kind of letter to show that I work in the slums of Bombay? He's a really clear, I hope, like 40, 50 billion dollar company, right? Don't show it. If you have not done it, don't show it, right? You don't have value for the sub kids. I know most of them, like, we, we uh, started educating them because we were IIT people. So IIT is like one of the MIT, right? Those kids, uh, most of them, those were drop out. Some of them are nurses, some of them are uh, teachers. One girl, she is. Um, in a computer science from Colombia, doctor, teaching in Colombia now. That's success. Uh, uh, I never went to the English school, right? My education is under that. I love it. I mean, my doctor would be different. I have three interviews in White House. The only problem why I was big, like I asked him that what happened. Um, Ten interviews in Harvard uh, School, uh, a lot of you are not proficient in English. It doesn't come across as like a person who can be very religious. People who are interviewing me, they hardly finish their bachelor's degree. That's not how we judge countries' uh, progress. This is like you all know it. You are technical people. This you can tweak any side anywhere, and that's why when I was working with the uh, yeah, who's that? Uh, But they never had the, the like anyone seen look at looks at me and my my daughter is ten years old. It's so like you're doing nutrition, you're doing food now. So my my life story was I, I'm going to give you an example. Never stop learning. It, it, it doesn't matter what the PowerPoint says. It doesn't matter what you are going to tell them. This is the best, one of the best models for agriculture. I use a uh, employee. Uh, as a federal job, I managed 10 states for the grants and made 140 million dollars from the uh, federal government. You go to any, any uh, federal employee and ask what, what does this mean? Decision maker, any leadership. None of them understand. When I tried to fund the project in New York City, uh, a road university, we were trying to build the, um, the, the drone technology. Drone will go right to the plant cell. And it will uh, use the AI tool and uh, build the model to create the uh, fuel. We had three time rejections from the USB, but we did. We had one of the project, which is the uh, will have eventually later on. Normally, all the, uh, and I'm sure you how many, uh, how many uh, different uh, departments are doing what they are doing. The foundation of this whole uh, AI revolution in the United States. Normally, based on this, this is what actually uh, put funding, appropriation, uh, partnership, uh, vendors, everything comes under this, this, this three. If you are good in this, you will be able to get your funding, your grants, contracts, everything. Um, but that's, I, I don't see any framework for the human knowledge for human, um, um, how they are going to affect the last person. When I came here as a social worker, my first job was in the Northeast Philadelphia School District, where every time you walk, at least once a week, you would hear the gun violence or something like that. Most of my big, uh, students were from single family, 
I was working with them. What I saw in myself, that's what I saw it here, it doesn't matter. These are different departments. Look at the funding. It's just uh, 1.5 billion dollars on RID. I met somebody yesterday, their whole budget is 1.2 billion, which is budget. And this is we are talking about both, uh, both countries. Budget. These are the different projects. Every project you think, uh, take from the first uh, department of energy and all the departments were getting funded. These are not now enough the people who are implementing them. It's either the people who are taking the people that you know, who's out and do a lot of things. So there's a huge disconnect, and you are the people who really need to. One of the ways we join the workforce, federal workforce, but if not, we need the partnership. You will see all these projects are happening. None of them, none of them has their own integrated team to build the AI models. Uh, Department of Cost, they are, they are working with other other uh, other uh, agencies. DOD, this is, you, you might have seen this in the model uh, within the CDO, uh, uh, the CDO presenting. Look at the power behind this department. And that's why I really love this connection in your app. And I want to promote it in such a way that this can be one of the model to implement in various agencies. It's like a Google for your documents. It's, it's like your uh, contract. Everything is in one place. And that when you are here, you are taking this thing, you just go and uh, it's here in your hand. This is this. We need to wrap up. Yep, this is last. So these are some concerns, all of you know. These are some certain partners. That is a solve you. Every time they, uh, I had an interview in the part team was here, Prime Minister of India was here, I was one of the uh, member of that team. And they asked me, is this going to change for anything for the, for the country? It's not. It's, it's not going to build a partnership from four people. Because country representation and the people who are bosses really need to use of AI training for their development. They are not part of this. this is so, uh, you know, power station uh, said yeah, about the electricity is a few of things. It involves the secrets which recognize, reorganize the life of the world. And the reorganizing life of the world is providing the life back to the people who are, who are still in the years of that. And that's, thanks for this opportunity. I hope I made a point that you need to have better systems in place, not just the, uh, not just the technical people, not just the policy maker, but there are a whole mass of generation which can be part of this revolution. And if they are left behind, uh, like many other projects felt, this would definitely fail. The, the, the devastation and the cost would be much, much higher than we have ever been. Thank you very much.